Two astronauts have been stuck in space for nearly nine months, and now, after all this time, they might finally be coming home. This was supposed to be a quick eight-day mission, just a routine trip to the International Space Station. Instead, it turned into one of the longest unexpected space stays in history. So, what went wrong? And more importantly, who's responsible? Let's go back to the beginning. On June 5, 2024, NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore launched aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. It was a big moment for Boeing. This was their chance to prove that Starliner could compete with SpaceX's Crew Dragon and become NASA's second option for sending astronauts to space. The plan was simple. Launch, dock at the International Space Station, stay for eight days, then return to Earth. But almost immediately, things started to go wrong. After liftoff, helium leaks were detected. Helium is critical for pressurizing the spacecraft's thrusters, and without it, they don't work properly. Then came an even bigger problem. Five thrusters completely failed. At that point, NASA had a major decision to make. They couldn't risk bringing the astronauts back in a spacecraft with failing thrusters. It was just too dangerous. So, the decision was made to delay their return while Boeing worked on a solution. At first, it seemed like a temporary delay. Maybe a few weeks. But the weeks kept passing. And soon, weeks turned into months. While NASA and Boeing struggled to fix the issue, the astronauts were stuck. They spent Thanksgiving in space, then Christmas, then New Year's. At this point, their eight-day mission had already stretched to more than six months, with no clear plan for how they were getting back. Eventually, NASA made the call. Starliner wasn't safe to fly. The astronauts would have to return to Earth in a completely different spacecraft. That's when SpaceX stepped in. Instead of waiting for Boeing to fix Starliner, NASA decided to bring the astronauts home using SpaceX's Crew Dragon. But even that didn't happen right away. The SpaceX Crew-10 mission needed to reach the ISS first, but its launch kept getting pushed back. Finally, on March 12, 2025, Crew-10 successfully launched from Florida and docked at the ISS. That cleared the way for Williams and Wilmore to finally return home. NASA has now confirmed that their return is scheduled between March 19th and March 20th. If everything goes according to plan, they will finally land back on Earth after nearly a year in space. So now the big question is, who's responsible for this? Is it Boeing? Their spacecraft was already years behind schedule before this mission even happened. It was originally supposed to fly in 2017, but delays, failed test flights, and technical issues kept pushing it back. And now, even after all that time, it still wasn't ready. Or is it NASA? For continuing to trust Boeing despite multiple warnings. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has already completed more than 10 successful missions. No major issues. No stranded astronauts. So why did NASA keep giving Boeing chance after chance? Or is this just the reality of space travel? Even small technical failures can quickly turn into big problems. And in space, there's no room for mistakes. One thing is certain. These astronauts have been through a lot and after spending almost a year in space, they are finally coming home.